What's up guys, uh, Nick from the Average Biker Garage, back here uh, with another episode. Today, we're gonna be lowering the V-Star. Um, I still haven't gotten that thing in from Amazon, it's coming from China. Uh, I guess it's on the boat, I don't know. They like, haven't updated the shipping in like a week. So, I've been reading about these bikes online and um, there's a method called the J-Slam method. I don't know why the fuck they call it that, but uh, you look up V-Star and J-Slam, it's a way of lowering these bikes pretty much for free, other than a little elbow grease. Um, you just pull the top uh, bolt and nut off and drop your spring out and then move the hole about an inch forward, I think it is. I'll be showing you my process going through it here on this bike. But a lot of guys have done it and said that it works great, so uh, I'm gonna try it. Worst thing is, is, I gotta move it back and I'll have an extra hole in my frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into stripping this bike down so can lower this thing. All right guys, I got the spring out. For the J-Slam, I don't think you have to take the spring all the way out, but Amazon dropped this off today. Or the post office or whoever, some kind of delivery person dropped this off today. And this is Jesus, fuck. I don't want you to get it out of there. Let's see if I can get this to focus on that. There. This is the lowering kit that's supposed to lower these bikes an inch and a half. All it is is it's threaded on this hole and you got a through hole. So I'm, the way I understand it, this unscrews and that screws on and somehow lowers you an inch and a half. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drill the hole in the frame right here and squeeze this back in, test fit it, see how it looks, if I like it. Uh, probably still go ahead and put this one on too and try it out and just see how, how low we can get this bike without it looking ridiculous so anyway don't think you normally have to take the spring out uh, I 
did because I got this and why not? So I'm gonna lay out where I'm gonna drill the holes on the frame and then drill the holes and slide this back in and see how it looks. Cool. All right, you look right here. I measured one inch over from the center of the hole and you can't see real well because shadows and whatnot, but there's a weld right here underneath this frame rail. And I just took a little straight edge, held it up like so and measured down half an inch exactly from the bottom of this uh, weld. Like just put the straight edge right up underneath the weld bead and let it sit on the weld bead and half inch down. So I'm gonna center punch that and drill it out and do the same on the other side. All right guys, I uh, finished up with the J-slam method. Uh, just drilled a hole, slid the spring forward, um, and it works. The ass end's lower, uh, looks good. Not sure how it rides yet, because it's, it's pretty cold out and I'm not taking this off the lift yet, but it, I still gotta put some stuff back on it. Um, currently waiting for the new bars to come in doing some uh, 14 inch Vikla Cholo style whatever that's kind of the theme I'm going with with this bike um, yeah so the J slam lower in this super easy takes you could do this in an afternoon you know start in the morning and by afternoon be out riding it it's really not not that difficult I took you know the gas tank off and stuff like that which I probably didn't have to do so uh, if you have one of these Yamaha V-Stars and are uh, interested in doing that uh, I say do it it's fairly easy to do um, if you got any questions need help with it drop a comment or shoot me an email or hit me up on Instagram or whatever um, any of those are fine ways to get a hold of me so, uh, that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.